Another random eBay delight. I ordered one of these lamps from an eBay seller, amongst other stuff, just because I've not taken a lamp to bits in ages. And, well, apart from the floodlights, of course. But, um, I ordered one, and this box came through with two in it, so that's nice. Buy one, get one free, apparently. I'm not sure they actually meant to do that. Um, these are supposedly 3 watt. I mean, all of them just say 3 watt, 3 watt, 3 watt. They're not. Um, each of these LEDs measures 3 volts across it when it's lit, and there's 9 of them. So that gives 27 volts. And I stuck the meter onto current and just dabbed it across because all the solder connections are exposed in the front. I just shorted out one of the LEDs with the meter, measured the current through the circuit. It was 50 milliamps, so um, 27 volts times 0 0.05 equals 1.35 watts dissipation from the LEDs, which is actually not too bad. So um, let's do the electrical safety test, shall we? Which I think it's going to fail automatically. I want to find if there's any connection between the uh, LEDs in the front to the meta work at the back. So I've got this on diode test and I'm just going to probe there's one end of the circuit and there's the other end and it's a diode junction so yes you do have a direct electrical connection from the front of this to the um, to the mains. Fortunately it's fairly recessed, you'd find it hard to get a connection, but it's still not ideal. So let's open one up. I think from that we can reasonably assume there's a capacitive dropper inside. Uh, which of these is going to open the easiest? Oh, right. Let's open this one, shall we? Um, so I'm guessing... Is that going to come out? Oh, there we go. Okay, good generous wire inside. It's got... Oh, I've just snapped the capacitor off, not to worry. Um, we've got the series dropper uh, capacitor. We've got the electrolytic I've just snapped off. We've got a bridge rectifier and three resistors inside. So let's uh, take a look at this. Um, three resistors, maybe two are in series with the LEDs to spread dissipation and one will be the discharge resistor across the uh, main capacitor. The main capacitor's value is... Eight hundred and twenty nano. That can be right, surely. Let's take a closer look. Looks like eight hundred and twenty nano. Eight hundred and twenty nano fired at four hundred volts. Okay. I should be drawing this down, shouldn't I? Um, so let's uh, I'll reuse this bit of card from the last thing. So um, let's trace this out. Meter. I'll just detangle the leads here before we do this. There we go. It's better. So. One of these connections is probably going to go straight to the bridge rectifier, and it looks like that one. Yep. So, we've got the bridge rectifier. Plus, minus, AC, AC. So, let's say live, neutral. So let's say it's the neutral going straight to it. The other one will be going via the capacitor. Is it straight onto the capacitor? Yes, it is. And then from that end of the capacitor to the bridge rectifier. Yep, so we've got um, the capacitor. So that's 820 nano, which is quite, quite a high value capacitor. 
Um, we'll have a discharge resistor across that. I'm guessing it's the one directly underneath it. It's one connection. Two connection. So we've got the discharge resistor. This is all pretty typical stuff. Little surface mount discharge resistor. It's probably not really rated for 240 volts, but hi. Uh, let's uh, see if I can actually read the value of that because it's a very small surface mount. Helps I turn the LED on here. Helps I can even find it. One one five. One point one meg ohm. Okay, that's quite an odd value. I thought it would have been one zero five. So, one point one meg ohm. While I'm here, let's see what these other resistors are, just to see if I can fathom out their function. One R five, one point five ohm. And another one one five. Oh yeah, that'll be for the electrolytic. Okay. So I'm guessing that the output from the bridge rectifier probably goes straight up to that electrolytic, so I'm expecting continuity here. And here. Yep. So, output from there. Electrolytic capacitor. What value is the electrolytic? Well, that should be quite easy since I've already ripped it off. 400 volt, 4.7 microfarad. 400 volt, 4.7 microfarad. And um, I'm guessing that that other high value resistor is probably directly across. It's this one over here. It's directly across. Yep. And. Yes, so it's got another 1.1 meg ohm. Here we go, to discharge that. 1.1 meg ohm. Odd value, 1.1 meg ohm. Now, then, I'm guessing that's, that means there's only a 1.5 ohm resistor in series of the LEDs. I would have thought it would have been higher than that. I can see that that's connected directly to there and then goes through little surface mount uh, I should say through holes to the other side so let's just uh, stick the probe into one of those and it's coming through underneath an LED and going up to the end here so that's going to one end of the circuit and the other end also through holes, and it's going to the other side of the electrolytic. So it's going through here to there. Yes, okay. Righty ho. So um, that's actually going from the, pos the resistors on the positive side. So we've got a resistor of just 1.5 ohms um, and then we've got the circuit of 9 LEDs. I'm not going to draw the 9 LEDs, I'll draw 4. There, that's, that's good enough. Oh, yeah, that's uh, supposed to be wee light coming out arrows, but hey. So there you go, that's, that's a pretty typical circuit. A bit surprised at the low value of this um, um, resistor here, but having said that, any inrush transient coming through this capacitor is going to be absorbed by the electrolytic anyway. 
quite a substantial electrolytic. And I have to say these little lights put out a modest amount of, uh, of light. Um, they're not too bad. And they don't actually feel too hot. Not that I'm going to feel the front of them while they're on, because there is exposed live metalwork. But there you go. Um, they're neat enough little lights. Um, I could imagine these things with different, you know, styles of different clip, clip over covers, like little candle lamps and stuff like that. But yes, they're interesting little lights indeed.